Welcome back. In this lesson I'm going to show you how to construct most polygons. All right, we're going to start off with the hexagon, probably the most common polygon in engineering drawing. And there are various methods how to construct a hexagon. First of all, I'm going to start off with a hexagon when you're given the distance across corners usually abbreviated to the distance AC so if you're given a hexagon 50 AC it would mean that from corner to corner so if you sketch the hexagon That would mean that from this corner to this corner, you should have 50 millimeters for a 50 across corner hexagon. So when you're given an AC polygon, you always start off with a circle with the same diameter. So I open my compass to 25 millimeter and I've drawn the circle. So it's got a diameter of 50. Now if I want my hexagon standing on its flat edge, like that, I'm going to start off with a horizontal line in the middle, going through a diameter that's going to be parallel to the base. Now I've got either two options. Now leaving the compass equal to the radius of the circle, from each end, you mark off points from where the diameter meets the circle. So meets the circle always on the circumference. So I've got a parallel base and I don't even need to set the set square to its angle because all I have to do is connect using just a ruler there to there, this should be parallel to it and I'm just connecting the points I've marked off with the compass that gives you a hexagon which is 50 millimeters from this corner to this corner or from this to this or from this to this it's 50 millimeter AC I could have just as well after I drawn the diameter you set your set square to 60 degrees and straight away from this end draw that line until it meets the circle from here you draw that line and then you turn it to the other 60 degree the other way around you do the other two and then the two horizontal lines now I started off with the horizontal line because I wanted two horizontals for the hexagon. If you want a vertical hexagon, you're going to start off with a vertical line. And when I say a vertical hexagon, it would mean that you've got two vertical lines instead of two horizontals. All right, so with the same radius, here I'm connecting there to there the compass is open the same distance the radius was and that gives you a hexagon and this time on its on its point standing on its vertex instead of on its flat end They're both regular hexagons, which means that all sides and all angles are equal, but this one it's on its vertex. It's always good to remember that the ver that the exterior angle, this angle here, of the hexagon is 60 degrees when it's standing on the wall. Alright, the exterior angle of polygons is very important. Let me show you. 
accurately. That angle there is 60 degrees. If we're doing it with the set square in this angle, that 60 degree is divided into two. So 30 degrees there and 30 degrees there. If you want to draw the same hexagon but an inclined at any angle, it always depends on the first diameter you draw. So if you want it tilted, let's say at 45 degrees, you're going to start off with a 45 degree line. Then, using the same radius from here, you can connect there to there, and from here you can connect there to there. If you join those lines, you'll get a hexagon that's tilted at 45 degrees. This method of using the same radius of the compass we use for the circle to mark off the sides of the of the hexagon can only be used for the hexagon. Right, so that's a tilted hexagon. So what, after I've done the circle, I use the same radius to mark off these. That that happens. That can only happen in a hexagon because if you cut off, if you divide the hexagon into equal triangles, they're all equi equilateral triangles, which would mean that the radius would be equal to the side. So those are your hexagon across corners. Now what if you're given just the side? Let's say I want to draw a hexagon which has 30 millimeter sides. Now in this case you could use the same method and simply if you want a 30 millimeter side you open the compass to 30 millimeter and you draw a 60 diameter circle and the hexagon inside. But you could just the same, just use equal sides and equal angles. So we've already seen that the exterior angle of a hexagon is 60 degrees. So you start off with the base, which is 30 millimeter. Then using a 60 degree angle, this is the most straightforward method because you know the side, you know the angle. So I've set it to 60 degrees, I'm going to draw 60 degrees that way, and a 60 degree this way. Make sure that all sides are equal, so I want a 30 millimeter hexagon. Those are my first two sides. Then 60 degrees the other way. And the other way. I'm going to mark off the same length. And then a horizontal line to close the hexagon. That's your regular hexagon given the side. But I could have just used the first method, just the same, because this is a 60 diameter circle, so each side would be 30. And this is, and this here is a 30 millimeter side hexagon. So we've got another method for the hexagon, which is a cross flat. Now across flats, which would mean that instead of having from corner to corner, the, the given dimension is from corner to corner, the, divin, the given dimension would be from flat or from face to face. So in this case, I had a 60 millimeter hexagon fr from corner to corner. Now I want a 60 millimeter hexagon from face to face or from flat to flat. So whenever you're given a hexagon across flats or across corners, you always start off with a circle of that same diameter. Alright, so I've got a circle with the given diameter. I want a hexagon 
60 millimeter across flat so I've got a circuit I open my compass 30 millimeter the radius to get a 60 millimeter diameter circuit now cross flats would mean that I want the flat part of the hexagon which is the sides touching the circuit not the corners so I'm going to draw a horizontal line from the top tangential to the circuit and a horizontal line at the bottom tangential to the circuit for now you don't know how long the sides are so I've just drawn faint lines with my 2H pencil just touching the circuit now I know the angle of, this, of the hexagon which is 60 degrees so I'm going to draw another tangential line touching this circle from here at 60 degrees and another one on the other end since it's set at this angle I'm going to do this side as well then I'm going to flip to the other 60 degree on the other side do another tangential line touching the circle here and another tangent a tangent would mean a line touching at only one point the circle so there you can see the hexagon has formed once all sides touch each other then you get an idea of what the hexagon would look like and what the sides would be then you can darken out with your HP pencil the hexagon so unlike the across corner question the across flat qu question you won't know the side of the hexagon until you formed it and the across corner question is just half the diameter which would mean the circle which would mean the the radius if you want the same hexagon but now on its vertex the only thing you need to do is change the angle so again i'm going to do a 60 across flat hexagon but on its vertex instead so you start off with two vertical lines instead of two horizontal lines tangential tangential these are just construction lines and I'm going to draw them as long as I want then you flip to the 30 degrees instead of the 60 degrees so the 30 degrees tangential there go down to the other end 30 degree there go to my other 30 degree on the other side so I'm using the other arm 30 degree that way 30 degree that way and there you've got a hexagon on its vertex are you using the same method across flats All right, you get the idea of what the hexagon will look like. Make sure that you start off constructions faintly so you won't get a mess once you darken. That's your hexagon. So those are all the methods of the hexagon. Now let's look at the second most common polygon which is the octagon. The eight-sided polygon. Now what we need to change here is the exterior the exterior angle for a hexagon it was 60 degrees for an octagon it's 45 degrees now if you forget these angles how do you get these angles the trick the the method you need to use is always take 360 degrees and divide it by how much size you've got by how many sides you've got so 360 division by 6 will give you 60 degrees for the hexagon 360 division by 8 will give you 45 degrees for the octagon and so for any polygon you have to do so for a pentagon it will be 360 division by 5 here I'm doing an octagon with the given side let's say we want a 20 millimeter side or a 30 millimeter side octagon I started off with the base then draw a 45 degree that way obviously the same length and a 45 degree this way 
Now don't forget for an octagon, apart from horizontal lines, you should also have vertical lines. 